Hello and welcome to the brand new Off-Road Outlaws update. And let me tell you something, I was not expecting this to drop today in the slightest. I was actually basically on vacation when this dropped and I saw a bunch of notifications blowing up on my phone like, hey, the Off-Road Outlaws update is out. And I was like, no, there's no way. I thought it was a massive troll. And then I loaded up the Google Play Store and guess what? The Offered Outlaws update was out, and as you can see, the new vehicles are absolutely ridiculous. So expect lots of coverage on this update within the coming days and beyond. But without any further ado, let's go through some of the details that you need to know about the latest update. Now, the update itself is titled Update 6.6.1, and it features three new vehicles, one new field find, a boat show, as well as new flotation tires with flotation physics, which we will be demonstrating in an upcoming video. We also have the ability to holster weapons now, as well as new water effects, and a fix for a glitch that would basically occur if you purchased the ability to not have ads, and then the ads would still be there, so that's been fixed now, as well as a new option to host a room with no weapons at all and a whole host of other bug fixes. Now, by far, the vehicle that I've seen the most buzz about is the Jeep Gladiator, which is brand new to the game. Although, granted, there is that Lincoln Limousine, which I'm going to be doing a full hilarious build on very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that because it's going to be absolutely hilarious. But in this video, I wanted to do a crawler style build on this Gladiator. But do not worry, there will be more builds of the Gladiator coming featuring monster trucks and more. Now, the Gladiator is a really big deal. It's a really big addition because it is one of the vehicles that has been the most heavily requested for a very, very, very long time in terms of Offered Outlaws vehicle requests. Now, as you can see, there are some aspects of the menu that are laid out just a little bit differently, and the game definitely kind of feels a little bit more fleshed out now. And again, I haven't had a lot of time with this update yet because it basically released when I was on vacation, and I am literally recording this pretty much on vacation. So with that being said, Please do keep that in mind as we go throughout the rest of the video. Now, in terms of features that a lot of people I know were asking for, I know that the ability to holster was a big one. I know that, like, again, there are going to be the people out there that are going to troll and basically be like, well, that that's not another new vehicle. I don't want it unless it's a new vehicle. And I'm like, yeah, there's other things that the game needs besides just new vehicles. Don't get me wrong. New vehicles are really cool, but there are other things that the game needs. And holstering, or the ability to holster, I should say, was one that I saw a lot of people People in the community asking for so I'm really glad that that's there as well as the ability to host multiplayer sessions without weapons altogether if that's just not something you're interested in having in the session or you just want the vehicles to be the focus of that session instead of you know character interactions or duck hunting or things like that. Now, I also would like to touch on the fact that another new vehicle was added that a lot of people have been requesting and that is the S10. Now, some people might say, well, we already have an S10. And I'm like, well, a lot of people, though, there are a lot of people out there that particularly love that more square body style S10 as opposed to the rounded body S10 that came later. And there's a very, very large following for that particular chassis, especially in terms of, you know, aftermarket and just modifications in general, whether you want to make a street truck, an off-roader, you, you name it, a, a drag truck, you name it, you can pretty much build it out. Out of that square body style S10. Now, I think another thing that a lot of people are really going to like about that truck in particular is that it's not necessarily... It's not necessarily, like, put into one box of what you can do with it. You have such an enormous canvas of things you can do with it that it's practically, like, it's practically, like, sky's the limit, you know? I will say, though, I think they might have missed something right here because instead of first gear, um, it's... Fist gear, uh, whatever that means. And don't even get me started on the rest. I mean, it just gets, it just gets more ridiculous the more you try to pronounce them. I mean, like, seconds or, 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 or toost? I'm not sure how you would actually pronounce that. Now, granted, obviously, I know they didn't mean to do that. I'm sure that was just a, you know, like, uh, a little bug, a little hiccup, a glitch, an oversight, whatever the case may be, and I'm sure that that will be fixed soon. But just looking at those, I was like, I was scratching my head. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Wh which gear is that? I, I, I don't remember seeing gears like this in, uh, in, in my transmission. 
Now, at this point in the video, we get to talk about one of my new favorite additions, different horns that you can actually select and use. These are hilarious. You can even adjust the pitch. Take a listen to some of these. And now that we've looked through them, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite and which one you have been using a lot. Now, obviously, I'm sure people are going to use a lot of different ones on different builds, but it'd still be really cool to know. These are the new flotation tires, and like I said at the beginning of the video, we will be dedicating another video to doing a build specific to that, like an amphibious build, where we actually try those flotation tires out, because it is a really cool gameplay mechanic, and I want to uh, kind of devote a little bit more time to how those work, how they look, and how they feel and drive and stuff like that and now we get to go back to the customization of this crawler style jeep gladiator build now, despite what some people may be saying about certain aspects of the update, I think this was actually a really, really good update, even though I haven't dived into all of the different, like, kind of, uh, like, deeper aspects of it just yet. Because think about it. They added a couple of vehicles that people were really, really asking for. They added another one that was wild and crazy and out of the blue that I'm sure people are going to love. They added new customization features. They added new gameplay dynamics. And they added some multiplayer features like again um the ability to holster and the ability to host uh no weapons scenarios or rather sessions that again i think are going to be a huge hit moving forward now i know that this build on the gladiator was very simple it was very basic we didn't even do any body mods but i wanted to finish this thing relatively quickly so we could get it into a session and experience some of these new features in multiplayer and speaking of the new features, I'm going to show you all how they work real quick. So if you're going to host a private session with no weapons, you literally, all you have to do is click the forbid weapons um, checkbox right there. And if you go into, you know, just a normal session, like you're going to fire up a normal session and play, you have your day and night selections up there in the corner. And then you have your general map selection along with the custom maps. Now we're going to go into a custom map session and I went ahead and looked through the maps just to see if anything had changed, but it didn't seem like all too much had changed. So what I decided to do was go ahead and fire up a session on TC's Quick Race. And once I was in the session, I kind of expected to see some of the other vehicles, and I was not disappointed. And I'll tell you why. The main reason I wasn't disappointed at all was because shortly after pulling up to the line, a massive monster limo pulled up next to me, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I was hoping to see an S10 in this session. Um, I did not, but I'm sure I will see plenty of them in multiplayer very, very soon. And literally right as I pulled up to the line, this was a completely random session with random players and immediately immediately there was a uh, a monster limo and I was like I have got to take a photo of this this is too good to not take a photo of it and I, I feel like the person in the limo knew that I was taking a photo they had to have known um but they went ahead and started a countdown and so I was like all right you know what I'll, I'll race I'll play and what's interesting too is now the nitrous when you hit the uh, when you hit the nitrous it actually gives you a little bit of like you know screen shake vehicle shake and I'm sure you know it gives device shake as well and whether or not you're a fan of that I think it's kind of cool I think it makes it a little bit more engaging and it makes it feel like the nitrous is doing a little bit more it, it makes it a little bit more engaging to use it in general and uh, apparently when you use the nitrous in the Gladiator, it absolutely rips down the course, even when you drive it like an absolute buffoon and you run it into the wall and then land on your side. And so I was like, well, that was kind of a terrible run. I'm gonna go back and do it again and see if I can get it just a little bit better. 
Now, one thing I will say is I forgot to put a repair pack in the bed. I forgot to put a snorkel on it. I forgot to put a lot of things on this vehicle. And uh, it didn't exactly play out the best for me in that scenario because I was slow through the water. I couldn't repair. And granted, I didn't really need the repair because I didn't have all that much damage. Also, massive apologies to the person in that Silverado because I just absolutely clobbered them as they were trying to just, you know, drive on their way through. Um, so with that in mind, I feel like I was a little bit uh, I was a little bit overzealous coming around that corner. Now, I was gonna run another lap down the track, and then I was like, you know what? I think I'll go up in the rocks just a little bit, just to see how this thing performed in a crawling scenario. And I was really excited to see how it did, because A, that's kind of what I built it for, and B, that's what a lot of people use their gladiators for. Now, I will say, the gladiator is, like, while it is definitely one of the most heavily requested vehicles in this update, I definitely think that the other vehicles are gonna have their... Uh, they're definitely going to have their fun places in the community as well. I, I can't wait to see what the community gravitates towards in terms of S10 builds. And I think that with the limo, it's probably going to be mostly monster limos. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to call that right now. It's mostly going to be monster limo builds. But with that being said and done, that has been your introduction to the latest Offered Outlaws update. And let me know in the comment section below what your favorite up, uh, parts of the update are so far. And if you're new around here, let me know, again, any other requests you may have in the comments hit that subscribe button to stay up to date and also make sure you have those notifications turned on that's gonna do it for this one though and i'll see y'all in the next one